Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Fortnite header tutorial or banner tutorial, whatever you guys want to call it. But as you guys can see here, I have a banner that I've already pre-made. I never posted this on Twitter or anything. I just made this as an example. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to recreate this header step by step with you guys. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment on the video saying that you guys either want to see more of this or that you like the video. Either way, but without further ado guys, let's get straight into the video. Alrighty guys, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new document being the Twitter header size, 3000 by 1000 with 300 resolution. And you guys can just obviously copy the rest. All right, and now we're gonna start that one up and let's grab the images from here. So I'll leave all these images that we have here in a Google Drive for you guys to download so you guys can make this exact same header. Alrighty guys, so we have all of our assets. Some of them are already cut out. I'm gonna leave some of them cut out but show you guys what you guys need to do just to speed up the video so that it isn't crazy long of me just pen tooling things out when I could already use the pre-cut out ones. But obviously when you guys get it, it won't be cut out for you guys. It'll just be whatever, just in case you guys wanna change some things. But first thing we need to start off with is you guys wanna grab these two images that you guys will find in the Google Drive. The shark island sort of thingy and this cat on a doing some water skiing on a shark. So what you guys are gonna try to do here is you're gonna blend these two images in together. We don't really want the cat or anything. We're gonna keep the shark in, but all we really want is the water and the background. So what we're gonna do here is we're first going to line up the horizon line of the shark and this background here. We're gonna line these two up so that the water is sort of similar and we can just erase them in together. So we're gonna put it in about that far and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to our layer mask, we're gonna equip that and then we're gonna go up here to our brush tool, we're gonna to flip it to a black brush, make sure that is on zero hardness and make sure we've clicked the layer mask, not the actual picture. And then we're just gonna slowly erase it away like this. Then we're gonna to have to keep bringing it back obviously so that we can get rid of the cat because we don't want him in the picture. Just keep erasing like that. And then from here, after we've erased like that, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring this one a bit closer, just like this. And then we're gonna press Control J. That's gonna duplicate our picture. I'm gonna bring this picture that is duplicated just across like that. And then we're gonna go back to the layer mask on the one we just duplicated, erase it back a little bit, and then go to the one below that, erase it back so that it isn't touching the shark just like that just make sure that we don't get any white lines here and if you guys do see this little white line obviously being the, the cutout of the shark island sort of background easy fix so we grab out our white brush by pressing x it will flish uh, flick sorry to a other the other color being white and then we can just redraw back on the line to make it less visible alrighty so from here on we're going, I'm going to quickly disable the layer mask. So this is the image that you guys will find. It won't have all this stuff cut out. I accidentally cut this out. But this is the image that you guys will find. And from here, all you guys want to do is pretty much crop out everything around the fish here. So pretty much this entire area. All of this around here. And we also want to keep the fish line in. So we're going to go all the way around the fish line. Well, I just went through it, but anyways all around the fish line like that and then probably start to erase it around here so that you guys get a result like this as you can see here what we've done is we've erased everything around the fish hook behind all these guys kept all the boat in just like this and then we're just going to position it about about here and if the if the background isn't blending too well you guys can just use your brush to just slowly erase like this with the black brush. So if you guys didn't already catch on, the black brush on layer masks erases things and the white brush um, like paints it. So if I go with a white brush and click here, it'll bring in the background, but then if I use the black brush, it would get rid of it. So we're gonna do the same here. We're just gonna slowly erase the water back a little bit so that it sort of just blends in with everything. 
Alright, so now that we have this image in, as we can see the water is a little bit different, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to hold Alt and clip that on top. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to pick, quickly scroll over here, we're just going to pick one of the blues, and that'll do, we'll bring that up a little bit so it's a little bit brighter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this and just go over where the water is, just like this, where all the water is. Doesn't matter if it goes on the fish a little bit, and we're just going to change that to color. Then we're going to down the opacity a bit, just so it starts to blend in with the other water around it. So probably somewhere around, I'd say 60. That looks alright. And then from here we can just erase everything off the fish, make sure it's nice and orange. I don't want any blue sort of splodging on him. All right, nice. So now that we have our fish in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little background behind our fisherman Fortnite guys. So here's where I originally positioned it. But as you guys will see, the image that you guys will find in the drive will look something like this. So what you guys want to do is when you get this image is we also want to create another layer mask and then we want to grab everything from this mountain here down past this little rocky part get all the tree and then pretty much down to the tree stump and then you guys can just sort of go down around the bottom here it should look something like this once you guys have pen tool that all out then we just want to come back over here and position it just position it somewhere in the corner here That will do, so I just realized that we can't really see the tree, so we're just going to bring this along a little bit more. There we go. See, so we'll just bring that over one a little bit more. There we go. <coughs> Alright, now I'm going to quickly grab the sign here that you guys will also find. This one will already be pentel though, you guys don't have to worry about that. And we're going to put that behind just like that. And we're going to bring in this glider. He won't be Gaussian blurred, but he will be already cut out. We're gonna put these dudes, we're gonna put this dude, this dude coming in from the back here, and we're just gonna put some Gaussian Blur on him. So we'll just go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we'll put about a 1.4 pixel blur on him, just like that. And our last asset, the bus. So the bus is just gonna be Gaussian Blurred as well, so just repeat the same process we did for the, um, the guy flying in on the glider. I'm just going to put it somewhere up here near the house. We already have a bit of an environment going on around here, so now what we need is some text. So this is just going to be a way to create 3D text in uh, Photoshop without any Cinema 4D or anything like that. So we want the text to actually be behind our fisherman here. So we're going to make sure that we put it below our fisherman. And we're just going to type in um, Sway, just because this is the guy that we were doing it for before, so we'll just keep on going. Sway, just like that. If you guys don't know what this font is, as you can probably tell, it's the Fortnite font. It's called Burbank Big Condensed. Search that up and download that. It's free. So, all we're going to do now is copy that real quick. Make it a bit smaller. Put it up the top here. Change that one to phase go and we'll quickly hide that for now and quickly put this back above our fisherman just because we want to work on the text don't want anything getting in the way so that looks about, looks about right don't want it too far over to the left yeah about there would be nice alrighty so what we're going to do from here is we're going to add a gradient not this one we're going to grab this gradient right here which is just like a uh, sort of in between orange and yellow, but more of a yellow. Um, and we're going to have the brightest color of that, and then a more of a uh, orangey sort of color, and put that at the top. Then we're going to grab an inner shadow, and we're just going to put that on an overlay white color, just with the distance of five. Make sure you keep the angle 90 so it goes directly above. All right, so that's going to be our 2D part. So we can just name that uh, Sway 2D. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to bring that up just like this. That should be enough. 
And then what we're going to do here is make this one a little bit darker. So we're just going to go color overlay, make it black, put it on normal, and then bring the opacity down a little bit. Probably around 42, I would say. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to grab out our polygon and lasso tool. Also, just make sure that we get rid of the inner shadow so that we don't have this little um, glow coming on the top here. What we're going to do here is we're going to rasterize the type. Don't rasterize layer style, rasterize type. So now that we've got that done, we don't have to worry about changing our colors or anything like that. As soon as we apply our polygon and lasso tool and fix up these gaps, it should automatically just apply when we go hold delete, just like that. So if you guys wondered how I did that with the polygon and lasso tool, so we just want to click on the corner here, other corner, behind it, fill in the gap, and then double click, that will create a selection, and then alt, backspace, and it will fill it in. Let's just repeat that process and make sure that all the edges are filled in. Alrighty guys, that is looking good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to name this Sway 3D. And from here, we're going to make this a smart object. And then we're going to make a new layer down here. Alt to clip it. And then what we're going to do is grab a gradient. Just over here with the gradient tool, we're going to grab a black to white gradient. Then what we're going to do from here is put this on an overlay layer. Grab out our polygon lasso tool again and just select the areas of the 3D extrusion like this and then bottom to top just like that bring the opacity down a little bit more something just like this back up a little bit. There we go. and we're just going to continue doing this on each section of the text Alrighty guys, there we go. That is the 3D text done for now. So what we're gonna do now from here is work on our 2D part. So we're gonna create a duplicate of our 2D real quick and then we're gonna go down to our effects and we're gonna put a inside stroke just like this on about eight we'll say. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go fill and while we do this, go back to our FX and get rid of the gradient, overlay the inner shadow and only keep the stroke. From here, what we're going to do is rasterize layer style and then from here, create a new layer. We're going to clip that to our 2D text. We're going to go about our pen tool over here. We're going to click just about here and click on the other side and just drag it go back over. So it's got a nice little curve like this. Then we're just going to go all the way around the bottom, make selection. Now we're going to grab out our black brush and make sure this layer is on an overlay. And we're just going to run over the middle like this. Oops, just realized we need to rasterize the type. That should rasterize layer style, sorry. There we go. That's going to apply our little brush that we put over. Now we can just click with the marking tool anywhere and from here we're going to hold control on the thumbnail of the stroke layer we just made. Then we go back to the brush layer and delete. Now from here we can click the marquee tool and delete that layer and as you guys can see here it will delete the little brush that we just made leaving a nice clean sort of edge around the outside. Now we can unhide our face text, drag that back above, put it somewhere on the side here maybe. 
do is give it a little bit of spacing. Give it a drop shadow. Just put, uh, we'll go soft light. Nothing too crazy. Put the size up a little bit. And then put it around here. Alrighty, so this is majority of the layout done. Now we're going to quickly work on some lighting. So we'll go over to the sign that we grabbed earlier. Should just be over here. There we go. And we're going to clip our lighting back on it. We're going to grab a black and a white brush and just do some very simple lighting just like this. Running along the edge. Put that to an overlay. And create a new layer, clip it on, and then do the opposite and create a shadow. This just creates some really simple depth and blends in the sign a lot nicer. Alrighty guys, we are pretty much at the end point of the design. Now we're just going to be doing some color touch-ups, color corrections, a bit of camera raw and all the finishing touches. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure this is all good up. Yep, quickly delete the background. Uh, we're going to go up to adjustments here, we're going to go to color look up and then we're going to grab the three strip look. Now that'll bring everything together much nicer as you guys can already see. Everything is like sort of just one more of three sort of colors so everything is brought together much nicer. These guys are really really saturated so what we're going to do is we're going to grab that. We're going to grab out a black brush yet again and we're going to go to the layer mask on the color look up here and we're just going to go over where our characters are just because they're a little bit too saturated for my liking and we're just going to go over this sort of area here making sure it isn't too red very nice it's not too red as well looks like you're not the sun too much more burnt all right <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is we're just going to add a curves sorry and we're just going to make a very slight s shape bring that up a little bit more and at the top we'll bring the s shape back up this way it just brings out your darks and your lights a little bit more and finally what we're going to do is we're going to go to our selective colors and we're going to tone down these reds a little bit so with our cyan we're going to bring that back a little bit actually we're going to add some cyan so it isn't too crazy no i think i feel like it's too hot red so we're going to down the magenta and with the yellow we'll just bring that to about eight and the black will leave that at about minus five. Very nice. Now we're gonna quickly do is go back down to our blues, a cyan, sorry. And we're gonna make this more of like an aqua sort of color, less of a blue, more like a light blue, cyan sort of, maybe even green. Go back into there and click the blue so we can try and get the background a little bit more turquoisey green sort of color, sort of like this. Very nice. Actually, we might turn down those blues a little bit. Just bring that back a bit. Alrighty. So for the last finishing touch, we've got some pretty harsh lighting going on here on the boat. So we're just going to add a very basic little um, sun or light patch. So we're just going to grab an orangey sort of color and make it nice and light. And we're just going to make that one do a little shine in the corner like this. Put it on a screen. Just like that. Alrighty, so I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video, as I said earlier. And make sure to drop a comment on what else you guys want to see, or if you guys would like to see more of this. But anyway, it's been your boy Jordan, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace, and I'm out.